Networking is not a sales tool. It's not. People think they go networking to sell, but if you go, at, go to networking with just that in mind, you are not going to get very far. It is a relationship tool, which means that if you want to build a relationship with somebody and you want to build a connection with somebody, you're going to have to invest time, right? It takes a long time both to sell to somebody networking and also to build that relationship. So there are lots of really common networking mistakes that people make, and I'm just going to talk about a couple of them. The first is what I call the thrust and pitch. So where somebody comes up to you and they shove their business card in your hand and then tell you all about how great their business is. So what do you think the odds are that people are going to want to work with you if you do that? Not great, right? So really make sure that business cards, for me, I will only ever give them out when they're asked for. And honestly, quite often, I don't even bring them with me. I did today, though, if anybody wants one. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's the grab and go. So there's the take the card and run off to meet the next person. Has this ever happened to you guys where they kind of, you know, they're just, they're just there collecting cards so that they can start sending you their spammy emails? And then there's the meet and seek. Now, this is the one that irritates me the most. So you go up and you meet somebody, you say, hi, you introduce yourself, and you can see them looking over your shoulder. So don't fall into any of those traps because you do not know what somebody has got both in their own networks, in themselves, you don't know who they know, and don't be assumptive about any of this. Because if you come at it from a place of giving, then actually networking is a place of giving. You'll be amazed at what comes up. But if you're networking for growth, some of the mistakes that I see people making is, while I think it's a wonderful thing to come to a, a small business networking event here, right? This is great. We're all among our peers. We understand our struggles. But actually, the people in this room are not likely to be our customers, right? Probably one or two people might be your customers, but they might have people within their own networks who can help you, but much better to go and fish in the right pond in the first place, which is, if you're a girl, about putting on your big girl pants and going out there and actually standing up in front of people that aren't necessarily your peers, but standing up and engaging and working with people that are your customers your suppliers, people that are within your industry, and being a little bit tougher with yourself and really pushing yourself out there and not being afraid to go into environments that don't feel quite so comfortable. You need to build deep relationships with people, not superficial ones. Because I, I get a lot of people, as the leader of a, a business community of about 20,000 women, I get lots of people sending me emails saying, you know, can I pick your brains on something? Well, I can barely keep my head above water in my own business in terms of dealing with all the overwhelm. The chances of me coming into London for a coffee with somebody are pretty slim. But that's not to say there is nobody within my network that I don't mentor. But how we got to that point actually probably took about six to nine months, right? It's a long time. And that came from them helping me out a few times, me getting to know them, having lunch, having a coffee, and then that moved into much more of an advisory conversation. You also need to identify your ideal referral. So when you go to a networking event, Rather than thinking about, can I sell to the people in the room, think about, who can the people in the room introduce me to? And what can I do within that relationship? How can I engage with this person? How can we work together? What can we do to introduce me to people that can help me build and grow my business? And how can I help them? Invest your time with people that generate results. There are a lot of people out there that will suck your energy, that will suck your time, that will take a long time to do anything. You know what? We don't have that kind of time. So, you know, you need to be working with people that are regularly getting results in their lives and in their businesses. 
Create strategic alliances with complementary businesses. This is so powerful, both from a networking and a mentoring perspective. So instead of thinking about, um, about customers, think about who's got your customers. Who is already working with your target market? Who can you work with where you can support them and collaborate with them to work and build and grow both of your networks? Because there's, when you get those right strategic alliances and you don't need a lot of them, it will absolutely boost your business massively. Make sure you are 100% clear on your messaging and your communication. And this is hard, right? Because I think most of us will probably spend about a minute to 90 seconds trying to describe what our business is. You've got one sentence. Because they need to be able to duplicate that with everybody they know. They need to be able to tell other people what you do. So if you're not clear on your message and your communication, then nobody else is going to be clear either.